how long from your observation, like how long does it take deer to wise up and change their behaviors once they know they're being hunted? Like once, once a hunter intrudes into that space, like how much, how much time do they have, I guess, before the deer, uh, change? I, if they haven't been in that area and it's new and the deer realize there's something abnormal there, um, they're going to change immediately. Um, now, the younger the deer is, the quicker it will come back to normalcy. So if, if we're looking at, like you and I, we hunt trophy bucks. We, hunt, we want to hunt the mature bucks. If you get them up tighter or get into their area and haven't really either snuck in without being seen, which is very hard to do, um, or train them that you're in that area, but you're not a threat, they're going to leave that area and probably not come back for quite a while. Um, a mature buck always has two or three what I call favorite bedding areas, favorite living spots. We call them living rooms, okay, here on the farm or on the ranches um, because they can be very small areas, but they have a food source, they have a water source, and, and they always have a couple escape rooms out of those areas. Um, even on the farm, uh, the breeder bucks have two or three favorite bedding areas based on the weather and the time of day. And wild deer are exactly the same way. And those bucks will move, but they'll use those areas. Those are the areas that you either have to get them used to view going by or in and out or you have to get somehow get in there undetected where they just don't know you exist. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to break it down. And probably the easier one, if you have control, uh, is just to get them used to you, I would think. I, I have hunters tell me all the time, you know, I don't go on my property. I don't want to disturb the deer. You know, I, I, you know when deer season comes, then I sneak out. Most guys don't have the vast amount of property to be able to do that, you're you're actually do go the other way. Spend time out on your property. Let those deer get used to seeing you. Let them get comfortable with you, and then they won't blow out as far, and they're quicker to come back to that area. So a lot of hunters are actually working it against their their benefit by staying out, and then when they go in, they surprise those deer. We want to hunt, and they're unsure about coming back because they don't know when you've left or if you've left. Um, so you're putting them on high alert, um, by catching them off guard. Whereas if you intermingle with them all year long on a non-threatening basis, now, when you go in to go hunt, they, they stay much calmer, um, and they'll have a, a feeling of wanting to be around that area more, um, because you haven't been a threat all year long. Mm -hmm. 